Well, two, two things come to mind. No, no rules coming from you. So in other words, okay, well, uh, when we go in here, we're, we're going to sit over. I know you ne- may not necessarily do this, although maybe you would. Okay. When we go there, uh, we're going to sit over here and then we're going to, we're going to try to get to know this, these people, because I haven't met this person yet. And, uh, we don't want to talk to so-and-so about such and such, because remember that last time we had that. Happened. So if you start creating a bunch of rules up front, you're setting your own trap. So that's point number one. Don't go, don't give him the impression that there's going to have to be a bunch of rules. Number two, now you're probably not going to like this one. It needs to be timed, and he needs to know when you're going to get the hell out of there. You would probably want to spend three to six hours over there, wouldn't you? Yeah. As the clock ticks, the wick to that stick of dynamite is burning down. Oh, so in an ideal world, told you you wouldn't like it, 60 minutes max. Um, if if you can get 90 minutes out of him without sense, without you intuiting some distress from his vibes, uh, you'll be lucky. So we'll say 60 to 90. If you're going to sp- plan on spending two or three or four hours or wherever you're going, then do this for your own sanity. You two, depending on how far it is, of course, this may not be possible if you're going to travel a long way. You would go in two separate vehicles so that when he feels like his brain's about ready to explode, he can leave and you can stay. I know that's not always the case because some people are taking three, four, five, six hours or taking a flight. and there's. But even then, there can be an escape, you know, unless you're just staying with family. And I would strongly advise against that one. You would have a hotel room and maybe a rental car. So even there, there would be some escape. So in an ideal world, in summary, don't create a bunch of rules up front because it's just instantly going to stress him out before you even put one foot in the door wherever you guys are going. And whatever way you can think of, give him a, a, a way to escape. Either the two of you are going to leave at the 90-minute mark or he drives separately and can leave after whenever he wants to leave. If he wants to have his phone, if he's over there on the phone not engaging in anybody and he's playing video games on his phone over there in the corner, you just leave him be. If he's on his phone at the 90-minute mark and he seems to be engaged in that, then that's just as good as going home as far as an escape route. That would save you from having to take two separate vehicles or trying to explain why he left after 45 minutes.